what's up guys so now we're going to start learning C programming the C programming language and in this tutorial I'm just going to show you the basic you know skeleton for every C program All right so what you want to do is you want to go to file new new source file this is your dev C++ compiler of course this is what, this is what I'm using and there we have our source we have our you know new file ready to go ready to start writing programs I'm going to save as I'm going to save it first I'm going to save it as first and then you see the save as type save it as a C source file so now we're ready to go okay so the first thing you do you see with the C programming language all the different instructions we can give to the computer they're all in separate they're all in these things called libraries okay so right the people who pro who made this language the C language they made all these different libraries with all these different functions in these libraries all these different functions which we can use in our programs to make the computer do different things so basically the first thing you gotta do before you start writing your program is you gotta include the whatever libraries you want into your program so you can use the functions in that library basically so the first library we're gonna learn about we're gonna start using is just the standard input output library so the standard input would be you know inputting info through inputting things through the keyboard and the standard output would be just printing to the computer screen so we're going to use the standard input output library so to include this you just the top of your program top of your page just the hash symbol and then include the word include and then you see these less than greater than signs these little angle bracket things inside here we put the name of the library you're including so it's the standard input output library and there's obviously a shortened name first and the shortened name is std for standard io for input so standard input so std io standard input output and then dot h which just means you know header so header is just and then another name for library so the standard standard input output header which is just another name for library so the standard input output and library so now we can use all the different functions that are included in that library we can use them functions in our program so now I'm just going to show you the basic skeleton for every Java program and that is this here I'll show you int main in the curly brackets so for every program you gotta have your main program like whenever you're doing really advanced programs you'll have all these little programs into 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 a uh, connected into one major program so all these little programs connected into one major program and that is your main program now until we do advanced programming we're just going to be programming in our main program we're just going to be using the main program don't worry about any other programs we'll get to that in more advanced tutorials so so we, to start your program anyway you gotta use your you gotta you know call your name your main program this is your like front door into the program so main is this main you know your main pro your main program don't worry about this int and the brackets for the moment just know that this is this is just learn this off and you see these curly brackets here these two curly brackets well basically they hold our program so you see in here between them two curly brackets we put all our code that we, all our program in here so that's what the curly brackets are for so make sure all your code is inside the two curly brackets have your opening curly brackets and your closing curly bracket 
and that's like your basic skeleton there for every C program that is how every C program would start obviously you have then a more advanced programs you have more libraries but they'd all start with the main program and then you'd have your main you have all your program inside the main program um, yeah so next tutorial I'm going to show you your actual first program so have a look at that after you understand the main skeleton Cheers.